This is fallow sriracha mussel, like a chef. So these are lovely uh, mussels from the Shetney Islands, Scotland. Clean the mussel, which some of them will have what we call this beard on. Grab the beard, hold the mussel upright. Also the open bit of the most mussel opens is this bit. And this is the, like the hinge that holds it together. Uh, and then it's gonna grab the beard and then loosen it and then just pull it down and it'll pull off in your hand. Just give the outsider a brush over to see if there's any hairs or anything on the outside as well. Then pop them into another container. Sometimes, some of them, sometimes they won't have it on, but it's good just to give them a little brush over the outside. Sometimes there might be some loose barnacles or loose little fibers around. So again, just pulling it off like that. And then once I've done all these, I'll then just rinse these in cold running water for about 10 minutes. You want to rinse them before you use them, ideally. If there's a few open ones at this point, I wouldn't worry about it. Wait until after you've given them a rinse. They might be, if they're broken like that, and they're not gonna be any good stuff. We use all the broken ones in a muscle stock. If they're open, you give them a little tap and then if they then close, then they're good to use. Give these a nice rinse and water. Next up, we're just gonna do a very classic, like a more marinier, sort of classic French style, but then we're just gonna finish it with a sriracha, cream, pickled lemon to give it a little fallow twist. Got a very important moist maker here, which we're just gonna pop under the grill just to toast off. So this is the leftover bread from the day before that we use in the restaurant for the mushroom parfait. And this is good. We're gonna put this in the base of the bowl underneath the mussels to absorb all that beautiful sriracha butter. Moisty! I'm gonna get my pan onto the stove. Not gonna need a whole onion here, just gonna use the half and then we'll save the rest of that for another purpose. It's not gonna go like full on fine brumoise to like rough chop. With the garlic, just gonna slice that. Nice and fine. Chili, sriracha, garlic vibes is what we're going for. So garlic, about that much garlic. So it's about probably two and a half, three large cloves of garlic or four or five small ones. And we've got about half a small onion. I then also got some butter, white wine, cream, fallow sriracha, and then we're gonna finish it with some pickled lemons and chopped pasta. So our mussels have been washing for a couple of minutes now. We're gonna put a good amount of oil in the pan because this is going to be a, a very important part of the flavour profile because we're going to smoke the mussels. We're going to get the pan nice and hot. Mussels are going to go into the hot pan and then the oil is going to coat the shells and then we're going to flavour it nicely and they'll pick up a really nice smoky char off of the outside of the shell which will then infuse into the sauce. Okay, so I've just drained my mussels out. That's nice cold water and we're going to bring that over back please, yeah? Uh, got my bit of toast there which is nice and crispy now. The rinsing kind of brings them refreshens them up slightly just make sure they're all closed i haven't got any that are open here but if you do sometimes they're open and if you just give them a little tap on the bench they'll then sometimes close up and then they're good to go but as i said there's a few of them that were a little bit open and once i've given them a rinse they then close nicely and refresh them so if you have got mussels and you're doing them at home i would recommend doing that every time before you use them so my oil is now roasting hot so you want to be very careful you can do this on a barbecue at home. You do it on a green egg outside. I wouldn't recommend doing this in your kitchen. This is more for a professional kitchen, but you can get the same effect by doing it with a bit less oil. So I've got my mussels here. I've got my pan here, roasting hot. Mussels are going to go in. And I'm just going to flame it and shake them. Beautiful. Keep the heat on nice and high. And the mussels will start to open now. I'm going to go in with my white onion, garlic, knob of butter. If you look at this mussel here, it's got like this slight, like burntness on the outside, which is like a light smoky char, a bit like if you were just charring your meat on a barbecue. Now that, when we put the sauce in, it's going to infuse into the sauce and give us that really nice, mellow, smoky flavour. My onion and my uh, garlic are softening in the butter. Be careful this stage not to burn it. But you've got the, the juices come out from the mussels as well. A little bit of white wine, this is going to form the base of the sauce. It's going to leave the heat on nice and high. So sauce is forming, onions are softening, mussels are starting to open. Theoretically, once the mussel is open, it's pretty much cooked. Now, if you keep boiling them, they will overcook. So you want to reduce the sauce. It's all about getting the right quantities in. Because if you put too much sauce in and you end up reducing it, the mussels then overcook by the time the sauce is reduced. You can rectify that by taking the mussels out, finishing the sauce, then doing it. 
But next up, I'm going to go in with a touch of cream. Sriracha is going to go in here. You can use just to, you can purchase our sriracha online if you want to make this exactly like this. Or you could use any sort of other chili at all. So you could use fresh chili. So sriracha goes in. Pretty much there now, a minute or two away. Just give it, turn the heat down slightly. And just while those finish off, I'm going to chop the parsley. We'd always recommend just keeping the stalks on. We're just going to roll it up. We call this uh, chiffonade. Just roll it up like a cigar. Go through it nice and fine. If you get the stalks in, there's plenty of flavor in there. Okay, parsley goes in. Two or three little blocks of butter. That's just going to give us a really nice shine on the sauce at the end. A little squeeze of lemon. We're just going to go in with our pickled lemons now, which are just lemons that have been really finely sliced. And we put them in a pickle of sugar, vinegar, water, and they kind of go nice and sweet. And you get a really beautiful liquid that comes out of them as well, which we're also going to put into the sauce. And just going to turn it over a couple of times. With our beautiful red sauce. You usually don't need to season the mussels, but you can always add it if you think it needs it. Okay, and then we're ready to plate it up. So we've got your mussels. Coat the mussels nicely. And into the bowl here, we've got the toast that I spoke about, nice and crispy. And then just gonna pour the mussels over. If any mussels don't open, then you don't wanna use those. There's sort of like a couple of stages where you wanna check in the mussels for quality. If they don't open, usually that's a sign that they're not, they're not great. But you can't really tell until this stage. And then just pour over your sauce. So I've got a couple that haven't opened quite there, so I'll leave those in the pan. And then just a couple more lemons to finish. Once you taste these lemons, you start using them and everything, they're really versatile. And there you have it. So that's how to make our fallow smoked sriracha mussels with moist maker at home.